former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot will serve as an outside attorney for the village of Dalton. Village trustees appointed her to investigate Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Henyard is facing allegations of corruption, reckless spending, and retaliation. All right, so it's a done deal. LL is in day. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so confused, y'all. I'm so confused. Apologies. Hey there, besties. I see that there was a meeting last night and Big Tiff didn't show, even though what would she need to show for knowing that it was to do something against her, basically? Why would she show up? Plus, she said, I was there on the first and y'all left and I ain't obligated to do nothing else. Now, I don't believe I've seen anything about Big Tiff lately, so she seems like she might be on the low a little bit. She ain't out here yakety yak yak yakking, nothing on the pages, nothing coming up with videos as far as I can tell. If y'all see something, make sure you send it to me. Anyway, so they came together in order to say, all right, we gonna hire LL and she's gonna start investigating. Okay, but they also said that she has no power to do anything. So again, I'm confused as to what the point is. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just me. Anybody that's legal, the law, a paralegal shit at this point, let me know. Because, because child, I just play a lawyer on YouTube and I'm just confused. It seems like it's a waste of money. There already is an investigation from, I forget who, the AG's office into the lawsuit about the essay that happened in Vegas. Then what is the point of this? What are y'all getting out of this that's going to make a difference to change things for the city, the village, the town? It's paying Lori Lightfoot $400 an hour to start today, Tuesday, the day that I'm recording this, so she can start to let y'all know things that you allegedly know. I mean, everybody keeps saying Anne for the most part, allegedly. Everyone keeps saying Anne is the person that was in Vegas that did the wrong thing. Notice that Anne been missing in action. And been missing in action. Allegedly, the FBI and the whoever else, the AG's office is in here investigating. Of course, we have no information, no confirmation, except for people saying that they talked to them. Nothing has moved forward. This is all chaotic. This is all so chaotic and seems to be getting worse as opposed to getting better. Now, maybe there's something that I'm not seeing because I'm not there. But I feel like this is more of a wasted amount of money, waste of resources in order to do duplicate, if not triplicate of work that's already being done. I would rather these people hire a lawyer who can speak for them to speak to the AG's office, the FBI, and who the hell else ever. Someone who's worked with them before, someone who knows the intricacies, knows who to get in contact with so that they can at least find out status what's going on, who they can talk to, what they can expect, if anything, and how soon, how does this relate to potentially getting her out of office? What do we need to be thinking about, the direction that we need to be going in? Those are the things that I be thinking about. Hiring Big Tiff, I'm sorry, hiring LL, I don't know that that's gonna make a difference, especially when they got a lawyer on, on the board, if I'm not mistaken, or a lawyer here that works for them. So again, Big Tiff didn't show up and, you know, that's really not a surprise. She said, I can get beat up from far away. I don't need to be in your face for this. How the heck does she go and veto an investigation into her and then turn around and say that everything is all good in the hood? Now, if y'all wanted to sit up here and try to investigate her specifically as far as the money is concerned and see where the money resides, then maybe that would make more sense and maybe that is included as well. But as far as the essay, I really don't know that uh, Lori is the right person to be dealing with that. I think if she has no authority to put any charges on anyone, then I don't see what that point is. But maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, but let me go ahead and take a look at the comments under this daggone video because maybe they see something that I don't see. So this comment, newest to oldest. First one says, from now on, I'm going to applaud Henyard and send her praises. Your city is screwed, not because of Henyard, but because the people that are supposed to check her, keep her in check, didn't do their jobs right. Jason House, you are a flunky at your job. Hmm. Good luck getting anything straightened out with Ms. Lightfoot helping, quote unquote. In Crook County in the Democratic People's Republic of Northeast Illinois, hmm. There's a lack of talent to draw upon for investigation, and that is why Lightfoot, Black and Democrat, needs to be hired. 
the state's attorney of Crook County, Black and Democrat, will not investigate. Oh, ain't that Kim? What's her name? The attorney general of Illinois, Black and Democrat, will not investigate, and the fatso trust fund baby governor, Democrat, says nothing about the matter. That is true. I, I said that. I think it's Pritzker, right? How come he ain't down there? He not helping. He not speaking on it. He's not doing anything. He's not sending anyone. That's that's crazy. That's half damn crazy to me. I agree with that comment for sure, for sure. Mayor Henyard, Black and Democrat, will never leave her two, two gigs. Oh, please bid not think I am racist. Henyard used the race card about prosecuting a black woman. Mm, mm, mm. These people deserve whatever outcome comes from this. Is this a joke? Paid by constituents, no doubt. WTF, seriously, WTF. No more sympathy for Dalton after this decision. They are letting their town burn. They honestly pick Lightfoot. More taxpayer money spent idiotically. Laughable. This country is in the isher. Who makes these decisions? Laugh out loud. I am just glad to be self-employed and live away from all of it. What is going on to ensure that Lori Lightfoot can force the mayor and Keith Freeman to turn over all financial documents? Exactly. She is not an officer of the law or courts. The mayor nor courts have forced Mayor Henyard or her staff to even do something as simple as respond to FOIA requests. I don't see much that she can do. Good luck, but I have huge doubts. That's, that's what I'm saying. I agree. The reason they are suffering is because of their decision-making, voting mistakes, and this serves as another testimony. What the F? She's a criminal. Okay, what did Lori Lightfoot do, y'all, that I'm not aware of? Because everybody keeps saying basically that she's a criminal. What did Lori Lightfoot do while she was in office? Please comment and let me know because I don't know. Don't live there. Didn't live there. Ain't going there. Not a nothing. No way. Let me know because everyone seems to be saying that Lori Lightfoot is a criminal or of some sort. So the worst mayor ever of Chicago is investigating the worst mayor in America ever. Priceless. This is like hiring Mr. Water News to investigate Monsters, Inc. It's like hiring Jeffrey Dahmer to investigate Red Room. Mm, they coming up with him. Breaking news, Cookie Monster hired to investigate missing cookies. $400 an hour to Lori Lightfoot is a waste of money in itself. This is disgusting all the way around. Seems like these people keep shooting themselves in the foot. What a joke. They deserve what they vote for. Democrat corruption all the way around. That's like hiring Nancy Pelosi to investigate J6. <laughs> it's, I'm kind of saying the same thing, especially since Lori has no power over anything. So if I'm missing something, which clearly I must be, please let me know what I'm missing. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe to this daggone channel. Like the video. I'll see you all in the next one. We do not care.